stay stare cause they know I'm the I-T-G-I-R-L You know I am that girl Good morning from El Nido This is part 2 of the Philippine vlog We're halfway through the trip It's been a movie so far Genuinely the most crazy island experience I've ever had in my entire life And that's not me even exaggerating Thailand? I'm sorry, you've been beaten Anyway, so today we're going zip lining We're literally zip lining from one island to another island Is that even legal? I don't know Ah, oh, there she is Okay. Oh god. Um, Misha talking about her shits again. We are so brave. Me and Misha are matching today. We've got purple vibe going on. I set the tone. She did. Yeah. Actually, the fan of Misha Crimes is how 16 years old. Oh, I've noticed the pageant days. That's absolute bullshit. Right, I gotta go. I need to okay. sort my shit out. Good morning from my ass eyeball. Also, I got my personal like, t shirt back. Bam. Come on, Kikinis. I look like a frat boy. <laughs> go Cougars. I thought I'd need to get myself some Kikinis merch because I haven't had anything yet. So I look like I'm in Delta House. <laughs> the hottest day we've had so far. Oh, sorry. I'm man spreading. <laughs> Cleavage sweats the max today. And yeah, we're gonna be zip lining between two islands. A bit terrifying, but um, you know what? I'm gonna the junkie. How'd you find it, Ola? It was 10 out of 10. Exhilarating. Never flown between two islands before. Yeah, true. That's a bucket list moment. Right, right now we're on our way to Nakpan Beach. Apparently it's one of the most renowned beaches in the Philippines. I'll let you know. I know my thoughts. So this is the beach. God, it is hot today. It's giving very much beach club. Philippines is very big on like not using plastic water bottles. So if you have a water bottle, bring a reusable water bottle. There's like refill stations everywhere and they're like free. So literally you can like fill up your water wherever. Safe drinking water. Right now, this is my water bottle for today because I forgot my I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't sue me. But yeah, they're very hot on like not using too much plastic, which I love. Sustainable country. I absolutely love that. I've ended my veggie streak and I've got myself a chicken sandwich. I couldn't help myself. Doesn't that look so good? I just need like fresh ciabatta, fresh green. I can't have rice every single day. I feel stodgy. I feel like like sitting there. Touch me. I don't care too much about meat abroad. Kate has no fear. I have no fear. They've yeah. me. Straight from the beach to a 30 minute back massage. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> fucking know. Misha Grimes in her element. <laughs> <laughs> She's really added to my relaxing. <laughs> I can't really talk. Look what I look like. <laughs> Misha's just got sand all in my fucking bed. No, I didn't. You did. Is that mango juice better than the other one? Mm -hmm. This one's giving like less metal, more like mango. <laughs> oh, it has a really bad aftertaste. Anyways, we're going to an Italian restaurant tonight because we're so cultural. Put the fucking denim shorts away. I'm like, where? Well, put them no, put them away. If you wear goddamn denim shorts, I ain't looking after your chafe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they're a size too big, so I wear them really low, so they they cover the old thigh wise. Ah, uh, good luck. <laughs> Absolutely pissing it down. Brilliant. We're trying to walk to the restaurant right now. So it's not over. <laughs> we put in so much effort. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Oh, Alright, that's the right for one. Our main character. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> the one that got away. A bit of a sticky one still. Oh Can my god. Oh, it's fucking insane! That was intense. I've never seen rain like that in my whole entire life. And it wasn't pissing about. No pun intended. British weather has nothing on that. We've literally just brought Vapianos to the Philippines. Also, this is homemade pasta. How much is this? Oh, 350, which is a fiver. Brilliant. It's like a fucking haunt. Where is it? It's in the drain. It sounds scary. hiding from it. Yeah. This is what those motherfuckers sound like. Oh my god, we gave in laundry. Look how cute they put all my pants in a little dumpling. <laughs> this was 105 pesos, and that's £1.51. Full of that. Too fair, doesn't even look that much. But like 12 hour service as well. Brilliant. Good morning. It's quite a fragile morning for me and Mish. Hey, big girl, love so. Unless it was those cyber girl lemons, she got us. Today we're going to Dracula Islands, and it's a little one hour drive and a 
15 minute boat journey and we're going to like an island where we're doing like an island experience and staying like hot. I'm excited for it, but I'm also kind of a bit worried and a bit scared because the weather's getting a little bit rainy. We don't want to be rainy on this little island because it's literally huts on the beach and there's no doors, no windows, and we're gonna be sleeping in the mosquito net. <laughs> Bring good energy and good weather. So let's get this fat suitcase to <laughs> another island. We've made it to the island experience and we're gonna be spending a night here and it is so pretty, it is so peaceful. We got intro with Kiss Me when we walked onto the island. Oh, we're just getting a tour right now. We're all wearing barefoot because we're so well at nature. Snorkel, drink, sunbathe, eat, repeat. That's how I live my life. I'm excited to see what room we're staying in. This is our Sibal tan. I don't even want to put sand in it. No way, what? There's so many beds. <laughs> oh, there's a double, Misha we can spoon. <laughs> I love the mirror. Come on, Zara home. Sorry, I, I really like to ruin it, don't I? Look at our view. That is so gorgeous. As per tradition, bed test. Mosquito net edition. <laughs> It's not bad, is it? Why look you bouncy? Well, I mean, there's lots of holes in this mosquito net. Yeah. Which kind of defeats the point. Yeah, there's a lot of holes in this one as well. Oh, brilliant. That's all right. Love, laugh, love. And we got Evil Eye looking after us. That's good. Firstly, right now, we're getting settled into island life. We just had a little swim in the sea. It was literally just one of those moments where you just need, like, the sea for your soul. I feel rejuvenated. And now we're about to go to lunch, which is, like, a half an hour walk away. Apparently. That is a big daddy. Hello. Friendly. Guys, this is you with dogs that I think I got to every pig and stroke. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think the pink one is <laughs> I my mating cool. It's got <laughs> such long eyelashes. Oh my god. Yeah. It looks more like a cow than a pig. Yeah. Just oh. away. That's hilarious. Sorry, I won't I won't disturb your moment. Right, when push comes to shove, you've got to use a leaf from the jungle to get these fucking insect bites to stop itching. We're repelling up in the daytime, which is an issue. I don't think I've been bit this bad in my whole life. I definitely did not get enough of these leaves. Right, for today's lunch, we have a tuna poke bowl with a gorgeous view. I'm withered. I haven't eaten that much this morning. As we are just giving island poke, but better, way better. We've come to this village in the deserted island, and they literally have to travel from here to mainland to go like to school and stuff. There's like 18 kids here, and they have to like travel over. If it's bad weather, they can't make it to school. So many chickens. Oh, hello. Oopsies. Oh, There's like Colgate in a packet. That's mental. Everything has been decanted. Ants have infested our backpack, all because of this fucking cookie. I don't have a cookie, so why are they in mine? I don't know. Like honestly, jog on. Why are you so obsessed with my socks? Those are clean as well. God damn it. Look at these absolute scenes right now. Wait, I can actually zoom in on them. I feel like I'm like a stalker. Yeah, <laughs> I can zoom in so far. I'm watching everything you're doing. I can see everything. I'm watching you. Always watching. Look how eerie that looks. Okay, as you can see, in the distance, that is rain. We're about to get fucked. We're about to get sodden. <laughs> We're about to get sodden. And you are about to get... <laughs> okay, so currently just been chatting shit out on the deck for the past hour, hour and a half. Got no service on this whole entire island. Can't go on my phone, so we're chatting shit. Uh, but now we're gonna go do some meditation. I don't really bode well with meditation in the way that I can't take it seriously. So I wish me luck. I'm really gonna try and like embrace it though, because I feel like I've been like quite in a drained energy today. So I'm like, I'm not feeling like hyperactive. I can sit down, relax, and really embrace it and really feel it. It's only like a 20 minute session, so it's not that deep. I'm nervous. Well, I shouldn't be nervous. I just don't like to feel things. Welcome to my life. <laughs> that sounds so deep. It's really not that deep. I don't think. Okay. Okay, it's all fun and games to be meditating on the beach at sunset, but I only found out the other day that sand mites exist. Sand mites. So let's just say that this whole entire 20 minute session I got eaten alive. Why just me? I have no idea. Was it worth it? No. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. I was literally itching and scratching the whole entire time and I was like, what is biting me? And you'll see tomorrow morning the state of my legs. It's not good. Right, after that meditation, I'm currently going to the bathroom to go shower. This is the toilet. God, it looks a bit eerie, doesn't it? It's really not that eerie. It's actually a really nice Instagram spot. This is the shower room. I might put on a bit of Justin Bieber while <laughs> I'm joking. I'm definitely not. <gasps> you jump scared me. Yeah, she's the little snotty monster. I am the little snotty monster. <laughs> she actually is. We're we gonna spoon tonight. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, there's only one fan, so you may as well be in the same yeah, same bed. Can't wait for a cuddle. This is literally so crazy. I feel like I'm back in Kenya. I went to Kenya back in 2016, and I generally think this is where I, I feel nothing nowadays, and I feel no adrenaline or like scared in like these places because like I generally got sent up a mountain with a tribe ever since then. You know what? It's taken a long time for me to. To feel a thrill. <laughs> I'm being deadly serious. 
and I was 16. There was no parent involved at all. We're finally playing it on a flip. Misha is in her really? element right now. Oh, fucking hell. Does anyone Hold give on. me a die? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, power car. Yeah. Scared. All the lights turned off. Oh, no. This one, this is bong beans. The next one, pumpkin, fried fish. They catch it for us. Yeah, today. This wow. Is today. Chicken adobo. Yes. And the last one, rice. Filipino power. Power to the people. Filipino oh. power to oh. And after that, enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're in DOV. Okay, guys. 24 hours of us in the jungle. <laughs> no, literally, so. I'm an influencer. Get me out of here. This is our spot right now. We're in the middle of, but fuck nowhere. I haven't had service for around seven hours. It's been quite good. It's been tranquil. It's giving unplugged. But now I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm hot now. Why am I hotter in a tank top than my big t-shirt? That fan's all we got. Someone's net's got holes in it as well. It's fine. Good night, love. See you tomorrow. I'll let you know how we sleep. Oh shit. Let me get my earplugs and my iPad. For fuck's sake, guys. Look at my fucking leg. No, look at my leg. Plural. I've actually never had this many mosquito bites in my whole entire life. Like, that's horrific. Whenever my leg touches any type of, like, material, it itches. The itching feels fucking amazing. Orgasmic almost. But my legs will be red raw. I can't do that to myself. Anyways, we slept well. <laughs> there was a cat in our room going like, meow, meow. I've got a fat spot on my cheek. Why that? That's come overnight. Hello? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, I'm literally, I feel like a dog with fleas. Okay. Oh. I need some Tiger Balm ASAP. Yeah, yeah. It was pissing it down the whole entire night, but it was kind of peaceful, giving like real, well obviously it was obviously real life rain sounds, but it was like nice rain sounds, but also I kind of prang out, cause I'm like, what happens if there could be a tsunami? We'd be fucked. And this little thing was flapping in the wind the whole night. My stuff thankfully didn't actually get wet, but it was absolutely sodden. After that short interlude, um, apparently we're swimming with pigs this morning, so I'm gonna go swim with pigs, cause once in a lifetime we'll choose you. And my legs are on fire. Hopefully the sea sorts that out. Right, let's go see these little piggies. Right, it's a Long Island experience. I've been mauled. It looks so weird to have shoes and socks on. Ew. I'm ready to get back into reality. I never thought I'd hear myself say that, but I am. But to be fair, this has been incredible. I really was one with nature. No complaining. Time to go, though. Good morning from Quran. I decided not to film the whole travel process because... This is what I've been dealing with for the past four nights. Miss Snot Face over there. Jesus Christ. Which I'm also kind of getting. So, everyone's done hate to Misha in her comments. I look fucked. Oh, Misha, say hi. Hey, morning. It's raining again, and we're going on another boat trip today. Hopefully by 10 o'clock, yeah. the sun will be shining. Basically, I've told you guys about my skin journey and all that. I've been, like, using different. Basically, when I've been out here, sun's been quite harsh and all that. You know, I've been eating greasy food. They love their noodles. They love their rice. And basically, different reacts to, like, even, like, alcohol. I've had, like, a beer sometimes, because I'm such a bit me girl. This year, it makes you, like, break out. I remember I was speaking to someone about it and they were like, yeah, you have to be careful about what you eat, how much alcohol you consume. And I was like, why am I putting something on my skin? Which is going to make me break out. So, you know what? I just decided, fuck that. I fucked off different. I'm just going to ride it out for the rest of the trip to see how my skin gets because I've literally woken up with so many spots just from like living. And you know what? I don't want that anymore. And I'm probably going to go to the dental just when I get back. Oh my fucking God. No, look. This no, look. is so bad. It's a pigsty. Breakfast! Okay, let's go get breakfast. Fried, dang it. That's funny. I'm sure it's a very nice dish. Oh my god, I was not expecting that, but that is fried, dang it. <laughs> you know what? Beauty has no timing. Gotta do what you gotta do.
Hi, baby. Oh, look at you. We've just stopped off for lunch and we've got a little selection right here. That is a whole fish. I'm struggling a little bit. I've got a bit of a headache. That grimy little bitch over there, she's giving it to me. We're trying to push through. Don't get shy now, bro. Come on. <laughs> Why does it look a bit like Basil Brown? Yeah, it does. It's actually kind of scary. No, you're cute-ish. Okay, we made it back. I am shattered. I'm feeling so fragile. I think my body's shutting down. I couldn't do the last stop of swimming because I was like, I'm so cold. As in, like, you know, like, getting in and out of the water, like, getting, like, cold and, like, having to warm up again. It's just, like, I couldn't do it. My throat's scratchy. My head's pounding. And it's not looking good. But it's okay because I've taken my vitamins, taken my paracetamol, and I'm about to get into a warm shower. Hopefully you feel like a better person afterwards. Guys, I thought I was done bringing a platform flip-flop traveling. I just saved myself from tetanus. Look at that, motherfucker. I literally just took out of my shoe. Look how rusty it is. I didn't get any jabs before I came out here. I literally knew I was coming a week before. Platform happy honors, lifesavers. Tonight's night out. Look. Evening. Woohoo! Let's put it down, so we're gonna have to take all precautions. Tonight's dinner spot. You man, you. Casino. Okay, I butchered that, but oh, there's a fruit shake. I'm here. And for dinner, we have a sesame chicken and some steamed rice. <laughs> Sword throw at the ready. Woo! Let's hope it sorts me out. Also, I'm trying to scour some tea in this town. No one sells tea. What I want is a ginger and lemon tea. Technically, today was actually the last day of like the actual trip. So, celebrating in style. I love a singy song bar. And if I don't find one those tonight, then we're going home. Come on, bro. Hold your hand. It's a big deal. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Late night tattoo session. Come on. How you feel, babe? Great. I'm Hi. ready to go. <laughs> Live from the studio. We got Bronze King getting an umbrella <laughs> tattoo. Umbrella? Oh, Sorry. Umbrella. Not umbrella. I hope not. I don't think I'll fit up. I think. No, you'll be fine. I think you're quite a numb part. We'll see until I start screaming. Fuck that hurts. <laughs> Looks like she's getting an operation. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize right, that Robbie, the needle okay. was like that. Right, the final product, she's done. How are you feeling, babes? I'm feeling very tired. <laughs> the only thing getting me through this night is a cup of tea, a detox lemon and ginger with burdock root and fennel. My throat is an absolute bit, and I don't like it anymore. It's not funny. Good morning from my last day in Quran. I feel rough. Like, I feel like I've got like a head cold and my head is pounding. As you can tell, my nose is bunged. I don't sound well. We've got two more days left in the Philippines. We're spending today in Quran, getting a flight back to Milena tomorrow. And then the next day we're going, oh, can't believe it. It's been so quick. And we're on to our next resort. We're at Tag Resort for one night. And this place looks flipping unbelievable. That <laughs> Room tour. We have a king size bed. Me and Misha are going to be spooning tonight. Absolutely gorgeous. And then this is our view. I bloody love resorts. Me and Misha haven't had the aircon on in our room because it's making us ill. <laughs> like, genuinely. I think going from humidity to like ice cold aircon is actually like made us so fucked up. Like everyone's got sore throats. So we're just like, okay, right, fuck it. Fuck the aircon. We'll sweat in our sleep, but as long as we don't have scratchy throats. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Misha, <laughs> my god. <laughs> hey, sorry about this. Sorry, she's over dramatic. Sorry. Of course, it is well and truly pissing it down. We've decided to go for a spa day and we're getting ourselves a full body massage. Ah, thanks so much. I'm so sorry about my bite. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Me and Bronte are having couples massages. <laughs> We've been confined. <laughs> Wish us luck. I got beat up. <laughs> I had two knocks right here. She was pouring oh away. She would not quit. At one point, I was like, I'm so relaxed that I'm gonna fall asleep. I was in that consciousness. Also, I basically got a free leg scratch. They were massaging my mosquito bites. I felt so bad for them. So we're ending the holiday off with a bit of lemon and ginger tea. Um, the immune system is failing, but it's okay. I also ordered pesto pasta. Look guys, it had to be done. I'm not gonna lie, a home comfort, you can't beat it. You know what, T minus two days before I'm home anyways. <laughs> She has ants in the bed. A disgusting bed. I opened my iPad and suddenly. Yeah, it says a lot. No, 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 can you not run me? Oh my god. There's a whole village back there. It's burnt the iPad. Wait, take off the whole case. Wait, outside, 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 outside. Misha, that's How so is that gross. Guy from? Where have they come from? How have they got there? They've been How in your bag. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I look like that? Flipping it. Good morning. Do you hear that? That is Misha Grimes. Not doing well, bro. Today is a very chill day. Well, we're actually getting a flight from Peron to Melina. Hang out at Melina for like all day and then I'm going home. I don't fuck with sheets when I'm abroad. I want cold AC. I want to snuggle up in a duvet. Anyways, I'm going to go to breakfast now because everyone's at breakfast and I've slept in as usual. This cereal is the best cereal in the whole of Asia. I think it's called Cocoa Crunch and it bangs. Literally my go-to breakfast every morning. We're all packed up. I'm ready to head on our way to Manila. Woo! 
wait, Manila? Manila. 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 And this is the final leg of our trip, guys. This is it. This is so sad. So yeah, I had a quick tang sesh. Gonna come home and people are still gonna be like, did you go away for 10 days? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> it's rainy season, okay? Anyways, let's get our way to the airport and get our way home pretty much. Our flight's cancelled. Oh, fuck. There's only one a day, isn't it? I swear to God, she said we can offer you a flight to Peru. Oh, it's not the other side of the world. Or am I being dumb? Why did we wait this long to tell us? Like, <laughs> wouldn't she putting our bags in? And I'm like, oh, sorry, go. guys. No, I think that's like one flight a yeah, day. No, I stay. No, I know. So, update. Uh, we are having to stay another night in Coron. So there's a flight tomorrow at 7 a.m. and we're gonna be put up in a hotel tonight. Transfers to work, all that. We kind of want to be in Manila. You know, I want to have a nice chill day tomorrow, wake up in the leisurely time. And then we're getting picked up at 5 a.m. Flight at 7 a.m. Just not I want it. Oh god, the chaos. I can't tell if this is everyone who's been cancelled as well or it's just a party. Who knows? Come on, bougie hotel. It's like we're in Holland Park. Oh my god, there's carp DMs down there. Oh my god, our doors open, Mish. <laughs> No, this is the biggest room I've ever seen in my Yeah, it's huge. Oh. This is the creepiest room. It's a bit yeah. creepy. It's giving a little bit eerie, but it's fine because we have someone to sleep tonight and we don't have to pay for it. Anyways, after all those dramatics. My hair is greasy and I'm getting to spot on my face from today. So I need to have a full body shower and cleanse out. I completely forgot to do a bed test. Are you guys ready for this? Oh, I just passed my elbow on my phone. It's got a little bit of bounce. What's the pillows like? That's what I care about now. Oh, the pillows are soft. Last size pillows, sorry, but not it. I'm a Hungarian goes down pillow girl. That sounds so bad. They smack me until I shut up sometimes, you know? So as a, we're sorry your flight got cancelled, we got this as a meal. We got some steamed rice, chicken adobo, fried unidentified fish, and some steamed veggies. You know what, we're just getting this here. I'll see you guys in the morning. But it's like 4 a.m. guys. It's gonna be such a long day. Let's just hope and pray that it's a sunny day and get a fat tan yep. before we get home. Yeah. Because I look like I've actually been living on the ground. Let's get this ball rolling. I think it's like a 30 hour journey. Fucking hell. And it's like we've never left. Back yeah. again. Get me home. Long day. Travel with me 30 hours from the Philippines to England. The first flight was from Coron to Manila and it was around 40 minutes on a tinsy tiny plane. One of those ones with naked propellers. These girls crack me up with their suitcases. Look at the way they have to roll them. We made it to Manila and basically our flight from Coron to Manila was actually meant to be the night before, but it was kind so we actually had a hotel room. It was around 9am, so we set up base camp for the day because our flight wasn't until 6pm that night. Let me tell you that the Philippines sun is hot. Oh my god, it's hot. Everything was burning. How funny how they call the used towels soiled towels. After around five hours, we said goodbye to the room and went straight for lunch. This burger was the biggest regret of my life. I was too full. And I hate feeling so full before a flight. It's just uncomfortable. Checked in our bags in Melinda Airport and made our way straight to Starbucks. Yeah, basic white girls. Hot water is actually free at Starbucks, so I brought my own tea bag. The tea bag bloody split. So I was drinking little chunks of lemon and ginger. Bought myself a new neck pillow. Look how cute this is. Best eight pound I've ever spent. Left all the other girls, said our remote goodbyes and for some reason everyone and their mum wanted to speak to me I had my noise cancelling earphones on the whole time and everyone just wanted to have a little chat with the flight still which is around eight and a half hours did my nighttime routine got into my comfies also i caught a cold from the philippines which is brilliant the food was disastrous i don't even want to know what that is but it looks like it was gonna make me shit myself so no thank you i braved this whole entire flight and did not go to sleep because i had to sleep on the next one she was not happy at all so i decided to do a little bit of shopping duty free then made my way to my next gate i had one more flight left and it was around seven and a half hours i stopped in the bathroom put on a little bit of deodorant brushed my teeth yes i did use the water i don't care i'm invincible and finally boarded my flight to London Gatwick. I could literally not keep my eyes open at this point. Decided to watch the whole of Sex Education season four. And had a cheeky five hour nap. Then finally made it to London Gatwick. I was exhausted at this point. It was like 6 a.m. not doing well. Pick myself up some water and some berries and made my way the fuck home.